also monitoring the chance for severe storms this afternoon. So we're talking hail, possible tornadoes. Let's bring in meteorologist Greg Fields. Greg, uh, could I guess parents picking up kids from school be concerned. Yeah, and they and they should be uh, monitor the weather uh, as we uh, get into the afternoon. Okay. Starting to see a few showers. We've already seen similar to what we saw yesterday. Mm -hmm. If you remember before midday, yeah. we had those showers. They were very isolated in nature, but this afternoon we do expect the uh, severe weather okay. uh, to develop across uh, North Texas. So we'll get to radar, show you what's happening here in just a bit. Uh, the cloudy skies we've seen warm, humid out there too. 76 degrees winds gusting out at the airport. No rain there yet, but 37 uh, miles per hour with those uh, winds. So they will be gusting. They have been throughout the morning. That will continue to be the case for us too. As we head into uh, Love Field, more of the same over there. 75 uh, degrees there. The uh, winds gusting to 26. All right, let's go to radar. Starting to see a few little showers pop up. A few more getting out toward uh, Rockwall and Royce City. A little farther south, though. That's where we've seen the showers have been a little more numerous. Even had some pea-sized hail with that cluster of showers and storms that moved over Stephenville. But none of this is severe. Don't anticipate that today. But you see a few more showers starting to blossom a little farther south. It's the afternoon that we anticipate the uh, thunderstorms to get going as we look at our time cast. Initially south and west maybe of the uh, Metroplex and that's going to be in that 2 to 3 p.m. time frame for you and those will begin to push into the Metroplex maybe around 4 or 5 o'clock and they will uh, start to get a little more organized and they will have that potential to be severe so any storm that develops today across uh, North Texas will uh, likely have that uh, possibility to be severe so we are talking about the very large hail that tornado threat as well you see around 7 p.m. that starts to move on out of the area so in that 4 to 7 time frame uh, this uh, late this afternoon heading into the early evening across the Metroplex so there's that enhanced risk still for strong and severe thunderstorms, large hail, very large hail. In fact, maybe golf ball or baseball size, the damaging wind threat and also isolated tornadoes expected or possible across the area today as well. So we'll have a complete look at the forecast coming up here in just a few more minutes. Uh, but now, Cleo, back to you. All right. Thanks there, Greg. Please do not forget to charge your phone and your tablets and make sure you have the WFAA app on them. So if you lose power in a storm, you can still stream our weather coverage through the app.